Hello everyone, player versus environment is here and uh, right now we're going for Throne of Idris a dungeon run here with the party which doesn't have a tank now that I look at it. But oh well, tanks are rare these days. I think it's, uh, what is it, the fourth dungeon in this game? Or is it the fifth? I, uh, I don't know if I can count. And I'm not sure, and I've also just... Oh, actually, no, I've got some po potion of healing. So, that is good. I'm pretty, pretty ready, and uh, basically I'm a little bit of a higher level than this uh, dungeon. Do I have an injury kit? Uh, you could have bought the, the kit, man. This is really one of the... Uh, interesting and at the same time frustrating parts of the game. You have to keep uh, stay aware uh, whether you have potions and injury kits because sometimes you can find yourself in a situation where you've wiped in a dungeon and suddenly you are you are completely useless simply because you are all covered with broken legs, uh, broken arms, uh, broken eyes. If eyes can break, well, well they can leak. Yeah, that's uh, that's not a very, very enticing thought. But anyway, it starts off pretty, pretty calm, if I can say so myself. Pretty slow, just a few uh, packs of mobs, which are not, uh, not really dangerous. So let me just uh, put symbols on them, so uh, my party can heal off. Ooh, who is it flying? piece of uh, whatever, a piece of armor, I guess. Just your normal dodge AoE, and even if you do not, well, there is not a whole lot of chance to actually die here. But uh, then again, uh, do not get uh, too relaxed, because uh, at some point it, you will encounter a considerably stronger packs of mobs, and whenever you start thinking, oh, I can easily beat that, it, usually your ass gets kicked. You want your ass to be to be unkicked, I guess. Well, I cannot speak for everyone, because uh, tastes of some people um, can uh, differ greatly. In front of us, a uh, pretty weird door. It feels like it's a little bit bugged. Oh, and uh, this is where it can get hairy, because uh, there will be quite a few mobs spawning right now, and uh, I think it will be. Maybe I'm thinking of some other occasion. Haven't been here for a few levels, I think. Last time I've been here, it was 35, maybe? Maybe? This is kind of a secret door, but it has a little bit of a trick, because uh, it can close behind you, leaving half of your party outside. Like, like this guy, he's gonna press it, and a goodbye the door. Yeah. And what's sad is that you cannot open it from outside, so unless, uh, yeah, you see, and uh, uh, door closed, and well, once I open it, opened it, oh my god, and I am dying. These guys uh, do not keep me alive whatsoever. That's the problem of not having a tank. Everyone has to like fend for himself. And uh, at the same time, I have to keep some of my party alive at least. Hopefully, they have some healer companions around. The best, uh, the best cleric, by the way, is uh, is the one who has a heal healer companion with her. That's uh, that's for sure. The best cleric in the party is the one who also uh, augments herself or himself. Ooh, I've got some blue boots, and that that's. Uh, that's nice to see from time to time. What 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 are what boots are these? Power, recovery, defense. Holy! But basically, they're only, or actually no, 79 defense. Let's put them on. I really need some survivability. I've been feeling it uh, recently. That uh, maybe some uh, damage, additional damage reduction, is a cool thing. And yes, uh, defense improves your overall damage reduction from all kinds of uh, all kinds of attacks. Not sure how much 79 defense is. I don't think it's a lot, but still, um, 
it's uh, pretty good at this point in time. Maybe maybe it will uh, keep me alive um, enough to for me to sustain myself when I need it. Who knows? And whoa, another fine armor right into my face. What is it called? A dire helm. Not a friendly, friendly fella there. Let's just uh, splatter him all over the floor and continue, continue downwards. Uh, you have to be careful around this uh, staircase because there is traps somewhere, somewhere. The traps. Uh, yeah, right at the end of it, there is a whole line of traps, and you really don't want to be. How am I supposed? Oh, and uh, there is a welcoming committee from uh, behind us. That, uh, that, uh, whoops, what to say, get away from us. Oh, come on, just do not hit me. I'm not sure, but seriously, all these, all these dungeons have been uh, having a pretty tough uh, bosses at the end, and uh, Idris is not an exception. I'm not sure if I can... Uh, if I can keep keep my party alive against uh, against the last boss so easily without a tank, because previously when I tried my runs, uh, when I tried my runs, uh, well, I had a tank to cover my ass at least uh, partially. And right now, well, I don't have a tank. Let let's sell this. Uh, this is bound and. Even though these boots look cool, unfortunately they are inferior now and since they are bound, well... I do have pots, I do have injury kits, so let's just continue our conquest of this, uh, of this uh, dungeon here as we are approaching the first boss here. Which I think can be skipped, but why the hell would you do that? You're here for the loot. Let's uh, take care of these skeletons here. Or if it's, if it's a skeleton. Oh my the freaking crap, you've got to avoid this AoE. It hurts uh, pretty damn much. Where is where is everyone there fighting? Oh crap. I'm trying to kill me. But anyway, um, all the dungeons before end game are doable without a tank, uh, believe it or not. But they are doable even though you have to pull some skills out of your pants if you want, if you want it to happen. Because, uh, well, otherwise you will just die. Of course, you need to move around, the dodge attacks. If you do not have a tank, you need to uh, watch your party. Not that you should do not need to watch your party when you have a tank, but um, you need to do it with uh, uh, increased care when, when you do not have one. Anybody else? Nope, my delay is good, and let us complete the summoning. Where the hell are these guys? Why are they up there? Come down, fellas, come down. There is a bone golem wrecking havoc on us. Let us rage a little bit, but our damage is uh, considerable here, by the way. This bone golem is going pretty fast. Especially when compared to my uh, usual attempts here. Well, it's been a few levels ago, so everything was different, everyone was weaker, but uh, still. Okay, this witch here. It's not a pleasant, uh, pleasant guy to get acquainted with, you know. Kicks puppies, doesn't like animals, uh, goes for drugs at school. Not not a person you generally would want to hang out with. So try to dodge him as soon as he parts uh, right next to you and tries to cast his AOE. There we go, like right now. If 
you're a cleric, just uh, push him away. If you are not a cleric, push him away as well if you have any skills. If you are a trickster rogue, for example, you can always disable the guy. Lash and blade. I think that's what the skill is called. And I'm dying again. And I do not feel as if it's something that should be happening right now. But Bone Golem is almost down. Oh my god goodness, uh, that uh, didn't feel epic at all. An amulet of sorrows I do not need, so I will greet on it. Uh, let's uh, need on this arcane rune stone and open this chest. Okay, some, some identified amulet here. Let's see if uh, if I can actually scroll because my mouse scroll is uh, broken. Doesn't really want to. Doesn't really want to. What does it say? Armor penetration. Well, since I'm not a DPS, I don't really need it. So I will sell it once I actually can. These guys really need to be careful of, about leaving their cleric behind because you know, one step left, one step right, you are. Uh, lying on the floor, calling for help. I may not be, I might not have been such a reactive cleric as I am, and someone might have been already dead. And oh, mushroom collection is almost over. Where the hell are all the mushrooms in this group? Come on, I gotta get one. Oh, I guess it's not for for the current location, so. I will still get some reward, I think. I'm not sure if it happens when you are in the dungeon, but regardless of whatever place you, you score in these contests, uh, since we have a little bit of downtime as my party members are clearing, clearing this dungeon, regardless of whatever place uh, you get to in these, in these contests, you still get some kind of reward. So basically what you can do is run around uh, different areas, just to grab participation. I think you can participate in two or more contests at once. Although, if I'm wrong, make sure to correct me. Tell me how noob I am. I love, I love comments of that nature, simply because I can then laugh in your face. Whoops! Did I say that out loud? But anyway, feel free to tell me how noob I am, and let me sanctify ground, even though uh, the skill is called Harrowed Ground, I still like calling it Sanctified Ground, simply because for some reason it's easier to pronounce for me, and at the same time it sounds way more cool. So... Alright, these skeleton soldiers do not stand a freaking chance, and there is some item I don't really need. Let's greet the knight. And it's suddenly very quiet. Whenever it gets quiet, so uh, there is. It looks like uh, lore, plague. Yep. I didn't pick up uh, it the first time just to show people where it is, but uh, it's right in your face, so it's kind of hard to, to miss, I suppose. Right? That was pointless. <laughs> but whatever. Yes. Uh, keep on lookout for a few lore entries in this dungeon. There are some. As well as, as usual, there are a few optional rooms with chests. Or optional corridors, I should say, rather. Okay, a few traps here. Beware of them. Like, for example, behind this, uh, behind this uh, gate, there is a mimic and, uh, and a chest which you can get if you go out of your way uh, a little bit later. So basically we go to this um, to this wall which disappears and as soon as we press uh, this statue a crap load of zombies appear behind us. But what seasoned adventure would be surprised by a crap load of zombies, tell me. Huh. They simply get uh, sucked into singularity and they all uh, die. And we can continue our down our path. Someone, someone's left behind. Don't get lost. You can get eaten, eaten by zombies accidentally. Few more traps here. Try not to step in them. Helps to retain some of your HP, as I heard. 
in the pinch. You are in the pinch. Bad joke, you know, but what can I do? Oh, come on. Now I am in a pinch, judging from the amount of damage I'm currently taking. Anyone else is taking a lot of damage. I need to heal you. Heal you. Alright. There is a potion of rejuvenation. Right leaf, that's neat on it. The crafted materials are, can come quite handy at the. Uh, well, simply because the crafting materials, you know. Crafting in this game is a little bit uh, interesting. Of course, if you forget about the fact that uh, pain, uh, pain adventures get the, the best crafting materials and professionals. Otherwise, you got a need on these uh, crafting items. Because hell knows when you can actually when you can actually require them in your crafting. Did the guy join us? Yeah, yep, it seems he he has. This uh, this dungeon, by the way, is full of mimics, and these mimics really can hurt you, freaking bad. So beware, beware about it, and remember that mimics can only be tanked by the person so who opens opens the chest first. So basically, try to let your uh, tank open open all the chests first, because uh, I had quite an experience a few times here, where I opened the chest and then uh, I got killed by a mimic. I'm a bad healer, I know. Oh, come on, let me... Okay, let me at least... Uh, and I get the golden buckle. How much does it cost? Two silver. Um, hmm. Potion of rejuvenation costs just as much so. And more useful. I don't need that, so... It's free to go, free to remain in the chest. Let us follow the glittery path. Someone's already died in here. What's unique about this dungeon is that uh, the last two bosses are located right next to one another, actually, so uh, there will not be many events uh, for just a uh, short while here as we progress through the mobs uh, these uh, decrepit skeletons not the kind of friends you'd want to have we and everyone gets healed if only by a little bit I shouldn't be actually sinking right into the mobs' faces because, well, you know, it's uh, hazardous to one's health to do that, especially if you're a healer. But I'm a little bit bored right now and I'm not feeling a lot of heat, so I guess I can do that. Well, pull the lever. Well, wait, I can't do that because there is some ghostly spider here. Tomb spider! He's glowing like a Christmas tree. These tomb spiders. You can use them for the illumination, I suppose. That is, if you can catch one. But we are not here to catch spiders. We are here to rob this tomb of all the treasure we can only find. So far, I found a, found boots. That's nice for a change, you know, simply because I haven't had the decent loot for like, I don't know how long. Like, seriously. I've ran maybe um, six dungeons in a row now, and I haven't had a decent single friggin' loot. It was, it was starting to get annoying, uh, I tell you that. Because basically, you do not get that much of experience in here. 
you do not get that much cash in here. Although that last statement of mine is debatable, of course, you know. Some people do get uh, sufficient cash here. So, the only reason anyone would do these dungeons is, of course, to kill that Deathlock Witch, because she is goddamn ugly. We do not like ugly undead in this game, do we? Now, hopefully I won't get sued by some undead community for saying something like that. Um, and well, well... If you go this way, uh, for example, you can, uh, you can get, you can get to uh, that chest and the mimic I was talking about before. But it seems like my guys do not really want to do that. And let me grab this healing potion because you know we do trust, uh, uh, trust the pills and drugs we find in the old ruined dungeons, of course. Can we go this way to check out what's uh, what's up there, maybe? Or maybe not, doesn't matter. I think there was a lore entry somewhere here, but I picked it up. Then again, if you don't find any, uh, I f you could say I officially lied to you, because I just don't remember exactly. But I do remember there were like two, three lore entries here, and I showed you one of them. Probably the easiest one to find. Let us continue. There is a statue here. I think it opens a wall. If it hasn't already. Haven't been paying attention to what these guys just did. How's my party doing? There is someone dying. Although I uh, totally do not see who that is. Who is Pinch? Where is it? Holy crap. Pinch is again in a pinch. Whoops, didn't have enough divine power to actually. This is a great weapon fighters. Holy crap. I was leveling a great weapon weapon fighter uh, recently. And man was he freaking weak, at least at the lower levels. I was I was burning through pots like crazy to actually level myself uh, from 1 to 10 I burnt, for example, um, something like... Uh, I burnt something like... Uh, 50 pots maybe? No, 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 not 50. 50 would be just a little bit too... Yes, uh, that's a quick way to deal with these guys. Just, uh, if you are a cleric, you can just throw them all uh, down. If you could uh, bring them closer. Ah, uh, come on. Whatever. doesn't matter much, but it would have been fun to actually throw them down and throw all of them down again. Not gonna happen this time, though. So, oh, well. There is a thievery node here. Come on, kill these zombies faster. I wanna... I wanna interact and steal everything that's inside. Carlosita. And there we go, uh, the second boss, uh, right next to the third one, actually Direham Forge, first requires you to destroy four shards here, as you can see I've got uh, my objectives uh,
What mini boxes? Well, there is someone saying something about mini boxes, but I remember the first time I, ra I ran, uh, I ran this dungeon. We took all the possible detours here, and there was uh, nothing special in terms of items. But it might be possible. It might be possible there is something we missed, although I highly doubt that. first shard is gone, I think uh, there is an unlimited number of uh, dire helms coming here, so you should like... Uh, oh, come on, I'm, I'm dying, you know. What is a mini box? Okay, officially I cannot read, it's simply because that guy was uh, writing boss with a single S, I assumed it was, he was talking about boxes. Doesn't matter, six mini bosses in uh, Lair of the Mad Dragon? I remember one which uh, dropped uh, not a single item, but uh, whatever, I guess uh, there is just some confusion about this here. Usually, uh, whatever it's called, that the mini boss in these dungeons uh, do not... Uh, does not have uh, some predefined loot or whatever, just some random drop, mostly green items. So unless you are doing it for the first time for adventure, there really is no uh, real reason. Where are these guys going? Okay, these little balls are dangerous, especially if you're a cleric, because uh, whenever you are inside a slow-moving ball of energy, of uh, dark matter, not only you take damage and you're slowed, but also all of your abilities are disabled. And that is uh, definitely not something a cleric would want to... Uh, want to happen to them, not a situation you would want to find yourself in. Did we destroy the shard? There's another dire helm coming this way. How many of the freaking dire helms are there? 
soldier. Leave me alone. Keep line there. Let us kill that freaking shard finally. And then uh, the boss actually spawns as soon as we do. As soon as we do. Some more dire helms came came out, and now we have to slay Rajwan the Forger. Rajan the Forger. If you ever if you know what I'm talking about if not never mind I'm just uh, babbling to myself there we go uh, found myself a disabled there for a second not not at all hard boss because uh, all the difficulty comes with the last boss with the last boss only, but still it's quite possible to die here, so uh, should be careful. Rajwen. Probably should pe people should get out of this AoE red circle, I really don't understand when nobody ever tries to dodge this, just some people do not care. I suppose it's tolerable at the lower levels, but uh, in the epic dungeons that that is something and the, the shortest way to get your party killed is to keep standing in in the red crap. But what am I saying? Uh, Soul Forge skull cap always drops here. Just like always. Let's use this lever. And destroy the forge. As soon as we do, the path is open. And basically we come to the third boss immediately. I think. Yeah, anyone who wants to can, can heal here. For some reason, it wasn't there before. Before I actually pressed this, uh, what is this anyway? Some, some kind of needle tied to a chain, do you know? But anyway, yeah, let's do this. But before you actually face the boss, you have to go through uh, several pretty dim, tough uh, packs of mobs. So you have to be uh, careful from now on because. Uh, as soon as you cross this freaking gate, you can die. And if anyone dies here before you even reach the boss, they're locked out. So basically, you can you can wipe unless you are uh, significantly out leveling this uh, dungeon. If you are significantly out leveling this dungeon, you wouldn't die here. Yeah. Idris the Revenant, the Revenant. Uh, well, and uh, there is the first pack, quite a few uh, zombies and skeletons in there. Also, some patrols around. Okay, let's do this. I have to be careful. Have to be careful. Simply because it's possible to die. There is a. Uh, something that wants to be a chest uh, to the left to the left there it's called a mimic so if you really hate mimics like I do you might want to might want, uh, want to, to direct yourself to the left and kill it it can be seen from here glowing little chest there which is not actually a chest
bad you cannot heal uh, undead in this game. That would have been a nice touch, a really nice touch. If uh, a cleric could fight undead by healing. get any enchantments. They do cost freaking cash. So, and I would also like to get as many as possible for my fusion attempts. Oh, and there we go. Mimic comes. What the hell? Who who aggroed the Mimic? Okay, time to put up some some stuff because if I do not everyone is just gonna die I'm not sure what happened and why the hell is everyone uh, is everyone mad at, at this moment oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god okay and this is where without a tank is gonna be a little bit of a problem it's time to start using potions because this is freaking dangerous as you can see this is just dangerous they're all going for me what in the world uh, what Excuse me. Oh crap, this is bad. This is bad. Oh my god, no, 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 no. As soon as I stop, they're so much faster than me, and to be honest, this is not so good. Not so good. This is dangerous without a tank, this is really dangerous. And even with a tank it could be a problem. Serious, serious problem. Nah, come on, leave me alone. Even against this pack alone, I've already like wasted how many potions? Five? No, 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 mm, crap. Come on, come on, just kill them already. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that was, that was goddamn lucky, I tell you. That was goddamn lucky. But, as you can see, a single healer has uh, no chance of healing through this uh, without some serious, serious uh, potioning from your team. Basically, in this game, you cannot rely on a healer alone. You have to, have to... Uh, no, I do, need, do not need this. Uh. You have to use pots because a healer is just incapable of uh, pro healing uh, this all by himself or herself in my case. You don't mind if I call me if I refer to myself. Oh really? That uh, awesome guy opened the chest, so that's why it all became so considerably uh, harder. Wait, what? I ran out of... Ran out of divine energy and then, just as I was talking about the Mimic being there, that guy, Pinch, put us all in a Pinch situation and actually opened it. And yes, Mimics really destroy people in this dungeon. Well, in game in general, they are goddamn they're goddamn badass. Well, we've almost, uh, we've almost reached uh, Idris or Idris, whatever it is. I like calling her Idris. It sounds more fitting, to be honest. But before, oh, and she actually is already aggroed. That is just freaking awesome. What the hell happened, people? I don't know. Well, this is not one of the best groups. This is not the, the best group I've ever ran this dungeon with. Uh, and there we go, we're fighting the Regent Idris. She has an interesting, a couple of interesting mechanics actually. She teleports 
behind you in certain in several locations. And then she shoots this awesome five, uh, five dark friggin' balls uh, in front in an arc in front of her, which you should dodge. They're not the fast, but sometimes you're too busy healing, for example, and uh, it's not always possible or easy to do. And I'm about to get vaporized by two fat hulks. Damn it, this is really annoying. This is really annoying, but I have Sanctify Ground now. Let me put it up, as well as... Anyway, she's going pretty fast. Thanks to the additional DPS we're having, as well as to Control Wizards, who definitely can deliver some devastating damage. So, we have a good chance of... Um, of actually completing this. Hopefully I will get something this time because it's really becoming annoying not to get any loot whatsoever when when I'm doing this. As usual people should focus on uh, cleaning up ads and then uh, doing some damage to the boss as well as dodging this uh, this arc of, uh, of balls. An arc of balls? What What an interesting name don't you think? shouldn't run out of a uh, healing circle. Just uh, a good reminder. Let's sanctify, sanctify ground and as you can see the ball passed right through me. It cancelled my cast. That wasn't very nice, I'm telling you. But Idris is about to fall. Personally I find her a little bit easier than uh, Chertilifax in the lair of the Mad Dragon. But wait till you actually see the next dungeon. That's where uh, a goddamn badass last boss is. And by the way, have you seen that just now? She actually throws uh, these balls of dark energy, not just in an arc in front of her, but actually all around her, 360 degrees area of uh, area of dispersion. Oh, come on. Crap, 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 crap. Get away from you, from me, all of you. Oh no 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 let's let's have a pot Let's sanctify ground could someone get this freaking freaking zombie hulk away from me I'm not in the mood <laughs> And actually, she's just going down. There is her corpse and uh, what kind of ring it is. Well, it's a DPS ring, but I will need on it anyway. Unfortunately, I don't get it as usual. Yet another friggin', uh, friggin' dungeon without any loot. This is getting old. I don't think I've given up actually on doing this because... Or at least waiting until, until dungeon delves event, because seriously... I've already done seven now, and not a single item. Well, with the exception of these boots I got from the chest. But is it really enough compared to the amount of time I actually spent on this? Well, and that's it. Regent Idris has been defeated, and the the uh, this dungeon is complete. All we've got left. Don't forget to pick up your seals and. Uh, well, I'm not going to fight. Oh, crap. Actually, actually, I still have to battle a few of these guys. There is a whole pack of mobs left, so let's try not to die. It would be a little bit pathetic to die after after you've already beaten the last boss. Not sure why I healed that guy, he was at full HP. The 
these dire helm fellas are really starting to annoy me. Finally die and stay dead for change. There is an unlimited supply of undead in Neverwinter, that's for sure. And woo, it's finally over. And so is this video, by the way, because, well, hopefully you enjoyed this dungeon run. Throw in a Vidris, and uh, all you have to do is meet the Captain Dunfield outside of Helm's Hold. Well, no, that's uh, another quest. I lied. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. It was uh, it was a pleasure doing it as usual. Uh, don't forget to subscribe at youtube.com/dailypve for more uh, PVE videos from different MMOs. Uh, a lot more content to come. And if you didn't like it as well, uh, don't forget to tell me why am I so bad. If you have uh, even if you do not have any constructive criticism, just leave a comment. Tell me how bad I am. So, uh, it was a player versus environment, and I'm bailing out. Have a good one, guys.